tell us about the car. Okay, this, this particular class is a 125 Rotex. Um, this is a senior class, which obviously I'm in because I'm fairly elderly. And this particular cart is called a PCR. They have various um, uh, construction designs from all over the world. This one was built um, in about 2005, so it's 16 odd years old. But most of the carts we're racing today are within a year old and they've got a very much upgraded um, karting ability. Um, if we start here, we've got only a brake pedal for the back brakes. There's no front brakes on this cart, okay? So it's quite a skill to drive. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. It's quite a skill to drive the cart because you've only got back brakes, okay? So um, as you come into the corner, if you over brake, you lock up, you'll do a 180. As far as the tires are concerned, it's similar to a Formula One in the sense that these are special compound rubbers and they slicks, they're called slicks, which when you warm them up and go around the track, they get quite sticky, okay? And with that in mind, what happens is you get better grip, okay? If we come back to the back of the cart, you can see um, there's the brake caliper, the back brake caliper, which is, is a disc, okay? It's the only brake on this particular cart. If you're racing a bigger 250, which we used to, then we would have brakes on the front and the back wheel. Okay, we'll come around here. Uh, these carts run on a little 12 volt battery. There's no alternator or generator, it just runs on that battery. At the back here, you can see a crash bar. Okay, and the axle is rigid. There's no suspension on these carts at all. Okay. It's all rigid, the front and the back's all rigid. If we come around here, you can see this is a water-cooled cart. It's got a radiator. This is a power valve, power valve there, which gives you variations in power on the engine as your RPM changes. These engines rev up to 14,000 plus RPM. It's a direct chain drive off the crankshaft onto the axle at the rear, okay? Um, as we come round, these pods, these are called side pods on the side. Those are used basically to stop people interlocking their wheels. They're only plastic, but it's amazing how it stops people driving into each other too closely. And it's, it, it's, it's a much safer sport with those on. Okay, in the center there's a fuel tank. It holds just over five liters. And we're racing anywhere between 15 and uh, 12 laps in each race and that will use a third of that tank okay um, a lot of the modern carts have got special electronic equipment on the steering to give them speed time distance whereas I'm just I'm just having fun um, our dress is safety dress basically racing overalls with a helmet an inner and the youngsters have to have a neck brace um, yeah, and the front pod is also a safety. The modern pod is designed that if you hit somebody too hard, it drops, and then that will penalize you automatically because they know you've been hitting. But generally, that's the gist of, 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 the, of the cart. And the smaller carts are very much the same, but just everything smaller. Engine smaller, um, size. They all stipulated in, in length and width. Okay, they all stipulated in length and width. So it's, it's very competitive and it's all within certain standards. All within certain standards. Okay, I think that's about it, chaps.